Hi, this is David DeLui, your Columbus, Ohio real estate agent. Today, I'm going to be showing you around this amazing home behind me. It's a new construction custom home. Guess what? It's not even on the market yet. They haven't even listed it for sale, but it is for sale. So if you're interested, make sure to reach out to me soon so you can get your hands on it before somebody else does. So let's go check it out. All right. So this home is located in one of my favorite neighborhoods in the Columbus, Ohio area. It's south of the city of Delaware, but it does have a Delaware address. It's located in the Olentangy School District. And like I said before, it's a custom new construction home. And don't worry, it is gonna come with sod. Uh, they just haven't installed it yet because of the winter. And you can see here, we do have a three car garage. And looking into the backyard here, you can see where the yard is. It's really big uh, where the dirt is. And uh, so let's go back to the front of the house here and check out the inside. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for watching. If you wanna know everything about living in Columbus, Ohio or moving to Columbus, Ohio, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell so you can be the first to know what's happening right now in the Columbus, Ohio real estate market. And if you are thinking about moving to Columbus, Ohio and wanna buy a home, I would love to help you. So make sure to send me a text, give me a call, uh, send me an email or even schedule a Zoom call with me so I can help you make a smooth move to Columbus, Ohio. All right, so the entryway here, really nice. Just this wide entryway. Obviously you can see there's the chandelier there. Over here to this side, he has a double wide coat closet. And if run off here, nice and private, is the powder room. It's a really nice for if you have guests and they need to use the restroom right away. Here it is right next to the entry. And your private also, is, you know, away from the living room, away from the kitchen and dining room. So people don't have to feel like they're right on top of you when you're going to the restroom. So anyway, here's the study I love. The sliding door stand in here. Really nice feature. And then you have this beautiful accent wall and another beautiful chandelier with really high ceilings in here. And you also get these great windows letting in tons of natural light. And I also love getting the natural light through your front door. But because of the fact that the living room is so far back beyond it, it doesn't make it feel like people can just watch what you're doing from your front door. It's far enough away. So I love that feature in this home. All right, let's turn this around and check out the ceiling in the living room. How about that? Absolutely stunning. Really nice to go along with some built-ins and a nice gas fireplace as well. Got plenty of space for a large TV. And you've got these great sliding doors to get out and open up to your back patio. Normally I unlock these first, but I didn't this time. So I gotta now fumble around unlocking it while I'm on the video already. So you can't quite get it to open. So you just have to trust me. So this will actually come back in to here. And uh, this is really nice. That way you can have a nice open space and check out this area for the dining, uh, the dining room. Absolutely huge. This is a massive space. You could put more than just one table if you wanted to. You could put a table and you could also have a regular seating area as well. Absolutely amazing. And all these windows making it just really nice with the natural light. You've got really high ceilings in here. I love the contrast. You have the white shaker cabinets on the wall with the ozone. Then you have the gray for the island. And then you have black over here with a nice little fridge for drinks as well. 
and you do have a second oven as well. But I like the fact that you have the larger oven where the stovetop is, and then you have an additional oven over here, not just two ovens right on top of each other. I feel like that's a nice feature to have. Now, some people might not necessarily like it, but that way, if you need multiple cooks in the kitchen and you need to open both ovens at once, you can do that rather than them being in the way of each other. So really nice view from the kitchen into the living room, as well as into your morning room or dining room area as well. All right, let's go check out. It's over here. So here is the garage. So there's a three car garage, like I showed you on the outside. And it's nice to have some windows. So you have some natural light and really high ceilings in here. Tons of space for storage if you need it. And here you do have your messy kitchen. So if you need a place to prep and you want it out of the way, you have a sink. You also have another dishwasher here and plenty of, um, plenty of shelving to store your food items as well. So here you do have an additional coat closet right off, off of the garage. So that's nice. And actually come to think of it, a nice thing about having the garage so close to your messy kitchen is if you want to bring in groceries, you could just stick them right in here. And obviously you can go put away things that need to go to the fridge but uh, otherwise you can just leave them right here and then put them away in your messy kitchen. So really nice feature to have that so close to the garage. You can see this drop zone here, place to hang some coats, sweaters, put shoes underneath. Really nice feature to have. All right, let's go check out the finished basement. I love with this builder, what they do with the stairs, with the carpet running down them, but still really nice stairs and the uh, handrails as well. Really nice. You got these huge windows at the landing here. Just as a reminder, in case you haven't heard me say it before, uh, you know, so this is a new construction custom home. Let's go and see the unfinished area first while I'm chatting. Um, but with a lot of new construction homes, um, when they're a builder that is less custom, oftentimes the, the homes that the builder will build on their own. So like they'll go ahead and build a certain number of each floor plan to be done at certain times throughout the year. So those homes, you know, they might have ones that are going to be available in the next month, in the next two months, or even ones that are available now, kind of like this home is. And so on those homes that the builder is building, they will offer special financing incentives on them uh, to make them more affordable. So let's say that your budget was $500,000 because that's the monthly payment that you could afford. Well, with that builder, let's say hypothetically the home is 540,000 or 550,000, but with the financing incentives they're offering, that monthly payment might be the same, maybe it's slightly higher, or maybe it's even a little bit less than what you could have gotten at the typical interest rate. So make sure to contact me if you're considering in construction, because we want to make sure you see those financing incentives so you can see if the monthly payment is going to be something that works for you. So I really like in this basement that they have the egress windows in the, you know, just kind of in the rec room area, in the main living space. You don't always see that, but that's really nice to have. So you get lots of daylight and through there. And then you do have a full bathroom here. So you got your sink, really nice there, toilet, and you have your stand-up shower as well. But so the name of the game though is make sure that your monthly payment is what you can afford. And so the nice thing about these new construction homes is you can oftentimes go to a higher price point, but because of the better interest rate, the low market interest rate, you're actually gonna um, be able to lower that payment. So make sure to contact me 
uh, text, email, phone call is a great way to reach out or you can schedule that Zoom call with me. I'll put uh, the link in the comments as well as it will be always in the top of the description as well. You can see a link moving to columbusohio.com to schedule a Zoom call with me. So you do have a little walk-in closet here in this lower level bedroom. So this is an adequate size room. It's not huge. It's probably smaller than uh, what you might expect in a home this big, but it is definitely still an adequate size room. And you do have an ensuite bathroom. So this could be a great guest room, or if you just have a child who definitely wants to be in the basement, or you just want them to be in the basement, whatever it might be. Anyway, that would be a good space for them having their own private bathroom as well. So anyway, new construction is a great opportunity right now. Um, I just saw a stat this morning, actually, that over 40% of Americans plan to buy a home in 2024. Over 40%. So to me, that sounds a lot like there's going to be a lot of bidding wars especially in the markets that are popular by like Columbus is. Now the pricing in Columbus has continued to increase and it's expected to be one of the hottest hot housing markets in 2024. So these new construction homes are going to be a lifeline for you, especially if you're new to the area. Um, you know, if you're trying to move to Columbus from somewhere else and you kind of just need to move and it's not like you're already here and you're just waiting for the right house to show up to get your offer accepted in the bidding war. With new construction, it's first come, first serve. So it's really, really nice for you as a buyer to be able to just come in, you write your offer, they sign it, and you're in contract, and then you can close. Also, you get an energy efficient home. So really nice benefit to that as well. So let's get back to the house. So we've got obviously this really nice chandelier here in the stairway then here is the first bedroom upstairs maybe just a little bit bigger than the one downstairs in the basement and here's the light for this closet it is a walk-in closet pretty good size not huge but still pretty nice and then we do have a jack and joe bathroom right here i like that you do have sinks on each side so they can uh can keep your kids from fighting over whose sink is who and are you touching my side of the sink? Don't have to worry about that, all right? Hopefully. And then here you do have the private shower and tub and toilet behind the door. So I always love it when bathrooms have that feature so that both, so that more than one person can be in it at a time and still have some privacy. So here is the walk-in closet for this bedroom. That's a little bit better than the other one. As well as this bedroom. Heaven here is a really big bedroom. So this room could easily be shared by multiple people. You know, whether you want to have a bunk bed over here or have one bed here, have another bed over there. There's plenty of space in here for this room to be shared or just for someone who wants a big room and uh, maybe they want some extra seating, put a little left seat, put a TV to watch movies or do gaming or a desk or various hobbies, have a drum set. Plenty of room in here for that. Maybe electric drums that way you can control the volume a little bit. Anyway, this Bedroom has a really nice ensuite bathroom as well. I do appreciate with this builder, you generally speaking always have an ensuite bathroom, at least, you know, at least a Jack and Jill, but uh, you have an ensuite. So it's really nice. And in this home, you do have an upper level laundry room. Now let's go check out the master suite. So, there's not a lot of lighting here right now. It's an overcast day. But you can see here there is a feature wall. So the other walls, the main walls are like a gray color. 
And then you have a white feature wall as well. So we can just get a little bit closer so you can hopefully see what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is a really big room. I like that um, it's more of a rectangle in shape. I love symmetry, so I appreciate that. I don't know what you think about it. Um, another home I just was in, the, the main bedroom was not symmetrical. Um, I really like the symmetry, so even the windows. Uh, the windows are just maybe slightly off. There's a little bit more space on this. But anyway, it gives the feel of symmetry, so I appreciate that. Anyway, let's check out the bathroom. This bathroom is amazing. It's really big, and I think you're going to love the shower. Now, some of you will comment that uh, you can't believe homes don't have a tub. This one does, so you're in luck. If you've been watching my home tours and waiting for the home to have a tub, this is the one. So contact me right away so we can make an offer and put it, this home in contract for you, because this home has a tub. I love having the vanity floating off the floor. I think that's just a really great feature. One of the moms I toured last year had that and then uh, in all of the bathrooms. And it was really nice. Just to give you a little bit of feel for the neighborhood. You can see a couple of the neighbors here have pools in their backyard. Just really nice, nice, nice landscaping and a uh, really beautiful neighborhood. So check out this amazing shower. First of all, I love the showers where it's like a seamless, seamless in the glass. And you can go either way with the door. I just think that's awesome. That's one of my favorite features in a shower. And the tile in here, I just think looks stunning. Along with the color of the fixtures. You've got the matching the seat matching to the um, countertops as well. It's really, really nice. And it's huge, right? We don't have room for a small shower in this bouncer. We gotta have a big one. So you can have your private water closet right there, as you can see. And then you also have a linen closet right here in the bathroom as well. So behind door number one is the closet. And it has one of the best features of a closet, in my opinion, which is access to the laundry room right there. So you do have a door, so you get privacy, but I love having the laundry room right off of the master closet. Now, obviously you want to be able to access the laundry room not through the master closet so that other people can get in there too, but I love having a second access point from the master closet. So some great built-ins here, great shelving, lots of space. And here. So I do, before we end this tour, I always like to show, especially on these really beautiful homes, I want to show you what it looks like when you come down the stairs because you get a great view of the main living area when we do that. So I do hope you enjoyed this tour. And as always, I want you to remember that whether you want to look at a home today or in a few months from now, I'd be happy to help make your move to Columbus, Ohio as stress-free as possible. So check this view out. Absolutely stunning. I love how the kitchen looks from here. And again, that uh, dining area is massive. Absolutely massive. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And until next time, I hope to see you around.